Ladies and gentlemen, it finally happened. iRacing finally released a rescan of Spa. Now, if you don't drive in iRacing or you haven't seen Spa in iRacing, the previous version we had was from 2010. That's 14 years old. But finally, things have changed. All right, so we are gonna go out on track for the first time at this newly revised, newly improved, perfected, I might say, Spa Frankishon. Okay, Aaron, we've got two laps to get the job done. Now, this is qualifying technically, but I'm really not too fussed about that. Uh, I don't really care about setting a time. Oh, look at this. That was awesome. Uh, I'm just here to have a real little race and experience the circuit with you guys. I mean, look, all the curbs are all the right color. There's that little green painted Porsche on the inside of them. Lots of runoff now at Bruxelles. I that wasn't there before at all, was it? Or Brussels, I don't know how you say it. Big, big, big sausage cup there. That looks lethal. Through pull on, lots of runoff on the outside. So much runoff there. all that gravel on the outside it looks so thick and dense and that bit of track right there i don't know what you call it it's so bumpy open up launch them on use those curves break nice and late into the bus stop oh maybe a bit too late bloody hell caught it though look the grandstands the correct grandstands. I've sat in that grandstand in real life. Into the source. Getting a bit skittish on the exit, but that's all right. I've been in that grandstand too. And look at this behemoth for him. Look at that. I mean, to me, that is such a spectacle. That humongous grandstand at the top of the hill as you fly up a rouge. It's just awesome. You see all the fans looking down. Whilst you go up the most impressive corner in all the motorsports. I mean, that is just absolutely epic. This really is just so awesome. It looks real now. It looks it looks like somewhere I can I can relate to because I've been here before in real life and now that it actually looks like how I saw it when I drive it I feel like it's more connected to it in a way it's like with Le Mans on iRacing the version they've got is you know a, a few years out of date I can't tell you what the uh, actual year of it is but it's definitely not in date and having been to Le Mans now in real life and you know seeing it being raced in the current age and all that there are little things about it that are different and that they sort of they don't make it a bad experience but you just kind of wish like oh i wish that was up to date like real life so you can feel like when you're driving it you can feel like this is the le mans i was at and that's what i'm feeling with this at spa i'm driving it i'm feeling like this is the spa this is the spa that i know the spa that i visited I never visited the 2010 spa. <laughs> I visited this spa. I was three years old in 2010. I mean, come on. <laughs> Even if I did visit in 2010, I won't remember it. All right, so now we're preparing for it to go green. Once those GTPs go through the bus stop and onto that main straight, the safety car will be in. There it goes, it's in. Okay, we can expect some green lights any second now. So we go green straight into a braking zone, which isn't great. We've got a car up our inside, so we want to be careful. Left side. Just use all the track limits, I suppose. Or not. <laughs> Still there. 
Um, defensive into T1, not really my favourite way to be. Hold your line. And I ran a horrible line there on the brakes. Really, really sorry, Mr. Shiny Vodafone car, wherever you were. Oh, we've got a GTP death already. Up a rouge, flat out. I am on the brakes to serve a float out there. Very smart. Guy behind me is looking for something here. I'm gonna make sure oh, I, I squeeze this position. Still there. Yeah, it's Clear bigger left. brain damage I've never seen that in my life. Down into Brussels here. Guys ahead are zooming away from me. I mean, that this Tom Griggs fella up in P1, I'm expecting him to absolutely disappear into the distance. He's already almost four seconds ahead of me. And we're on bloody lap one. Gravel. Come, Gregory. Yo, we've put a monster gap on the car behind already. Over a second, I didn't even do anything. Get it into the bus stop. On the power, use all of this exit road. Love that. Cross the line, that was lap one, and not too bad. All right, Aaron, just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. P3. Just look at that. Look how awesome a Rouge de Radion looks now. As if it wasn't cool enough already. Now it's got all that vibrant popping colour. It's got the grandstand looming over it. It just looks epic. Into Lacombe. No, that amount of curb is just not right at all. My skill level is probably 10% of what it normally could be right now. Um, because, fun fact, I'm filming this at almost 5am. I didn't want to be, but <laughs> I'm so backed up on college work right now, I'm forcing myself to. But all is good. We're driving around Spa Francorchamps. How could things be bad? Nope, need to break through there. Maybe just a subtle tap of the brakes, though. No Name's definitely one of the ones that does feel like you have to drive it differently. Obviously, it's the same generally. But the more precise aspects of it are definitely different now. I'd love it if these races were long enough for us to hit the LMP3s. iRacing just needs to do a series that has LMP3s and LMP2s racing on the same track for an extended period of time. Obviously, chuck in some GT3s as well. You can't just have prototypes. But I just think that would be awesome. Or you could even do... GT4s, LMP3s, and then LMP2s. And then you could sort of see it as like... Like mini IMSA. Because in IMSA you've got GT3s, LMP2s, GTPs. So in this case it's just a step down each time. GTPs turn to LMP2s. LMP2s turn to LMP3s. 
and the GT3 stands to GT4s. I feel like that's a pretty cool idea. I love the way the bus stop feels. It feels completely different to how it did before. Again, I don't really know why. I just think it seems more approachable. And the car glides through it quite smoothly. I feel like I could break later for that. That's ridiculous. This definitely feels so much more reminiscent of what it looks like on TV. I've always enjoyed driving Spa on iRacing, but I could definitely always tell when I'd drive it on here and then watch it being driven on TV and whatnot. I could always tell that there was just some sort of disconnect there. Like some parts of it were just like, that doesn't doesn't feel the same, but now driving this, this feels the same. It feels like everything you'd expect it to feel like. I love this. I'm so happy that iRacing finally did this. I know they've probably been working on it for a very, very, very long time. But I'm just so happy that it's finally actually here for us to do. Us to drive and own and enjoy. And compete at. It's a real shame that they couldn't get it ready and released for the Spa 24 hour because obviously that would make sense but you know it's okay because we just know that next year's Spa 24 hour is going to be even better than this year's. And here we come across the finish line I'm going to copy what this guy did and absolutely batter my car straight into the wall because I feel like it. I mean, it's it's week 13. What else am I meant to do? <laughs> oh, God, that was violent. So there it is. The new and improved spa franc -Champ on iRacing. It finally happened after so long of wanting it to happen. It happened. I think the guys at iRacing did an amazing job with this. It just seems so perfect to me. It seems so accurate. And I really, really, really hope that everyone else in the community loves this just as much as I do. I'd like to apologize if this video didn't seem very sincere. I already had to film this once and my mic uh, didn't work the whole time. So hence why we're here at almost 5am re-recording. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you liked this uh, slightly different style where I'm not just racing competitively and swearing at people who drive into me. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.